Hello friends, welcome again. And this is my new project, Petrol Pump Management System. And I have developed this project in Python, Django, and MySQL. Python version I'm using Python version 3.7, Django version is 2, and MySQL version is 5.6. For connecting MySQL with Python and Django, I'm using the MySQL connector, which you will get easily from the MySQL.org website. If you are using the PyMySQL, then you can connect also so there are a lot of library available in the market so which you can use to connect mysql with python and django right this is a web-based application so we have developed the interface using the html css javascript and some of the jquery library also i have used like for form validations integration of the date calendar plugins right so for these things i have used the jquery plugins right so this all technology stack we have used for developing this project petrol pump management system so let's start with the functionality go through that what we have implemented what are the modules available inside this project right so if you run this project and if you open this web page then you will get this home page so you can see this is a home page right and this is static home page there is nothing dynamic on it this is a about page this is also a static page right you can change the content this is a contact us page this is also a static page we are not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere into the database even we are not sending it up any type of email and sms from this page this is a login from where the admin can log in so this is a mini project where admin can log in and admin can perform certain operations so the user id is admin and the password is test so you once you log in you will get this dashboard right so you can perform these operations here you can add the supplier add the employee add the machines add cells supplier report employee report machine report sales report and change password and then log out so these functionalities we have implemented let me go through one by one so home i already explained you dashboard i already explained you so this is a add supplier from here you will enter all of the information and once you click on the submit button then all of the details will be saved right you can delete from here this is add employee from here you can add the employee so you will enter all of the employee details and once you click on the submit and details will be saved inside the database this is the add machine this is machine is the petrol or diesel machine so you can see this there is a drop down petrol or diesel so the drop down is dynamic right if you want to add multiple fuel options then you can add it from database you will enter the machine number machine company and description and once you click on the submit then the details will be saved inside the database and this is the add cells so from here you will set the employee first means for which employee you are going to add the cells and the machine so each and every employee will have the machine the date start reading in reading and search descriptions once you enter all of the fields and once you click on the submit then all the details will be saved into the database in the report part you will get all of the reports so you can see there are four suppliers we have added you can edit the detail from here you can update it right same for the employee all of the employee report will be here you can edit and update the employee details this is a machine report all of the machine number company fuel type will be displayed here if you want to edit it just click on the edit and after that you can update it <laughs> this is a sales report this is all of the sales report you can see these are the employees these are the machine numbers these are the dates and they start reading in reading right and once you click on the edit you can edit it also right okay so you can see sales updated successfully change password from here you can update your account password after updating your account password your old password will not work right and you can log in with your updated password log out once you click on the logout then these administration menu will not be displayed because this is these are the session driven menu and it will be rendered only after the login let me show you once i click on the logout then you can see the menus are not coming but if you log in then the menus are coming correct so these are the session driven menu so these all functionalities we have developed inside the project petrol pump management system if you need extra functionality if you need any type of enhancement in this project just put in the comments we will incorporate those changes 
we will make this project more better and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much